IAC motor discussion today. Didn't really get any emails on it, but I see that there are a few of you subscribed to my channel that do own a vehicle like this with either the 4.9 or the 4.6 uh, North Star V8 engine. I thought I'd make a discussion on this. Usually an IAC motor, uh, when it starts to go, you'll, not you'll notice that the idle speed is going to actually increase to the point where, hey, you know, I'm going to either blow the transmission or burn out my brake pads. When this does go, normally what you'll do is unplug the pigtail that connects to it. It's a four-wire plug. And when you disconnect it, you're going to try and see if you can get your idle speed to go down. Once you do this, you're going to realize that your idle speed is too low, your throttle plates are too closed, too far closed, and you're not getting any air, meaning your engine is, well, hard to start. So typically what you would do in this situation is apply about a quarter of an inch of uh, pressure to the accelerator just to get the throttle plates open about a quarter of an inch and then you would typically start your car. Everything runs fine, right? But as soon as you let off, typically the IAC motor can't do its job. The IAC motor normally would be letting the engine run about this RPM, which is about 1500 RPM at the moment then it would slowly back itself off. But if it's not working, engine's just gonna die. So, let's take a look at it, and we'll see how, what is, all is involved in removing it. There's the unit right there. Okay, typical little setup, you know. It's controlled by the computer. There's the four wire pigtail that is supposed to be plugged into it. Like I say, when this starts to go, the pintle is going to end up pushing itself out further, meaning that your throttle plates are going to be open, and which is, in return, increasing engine RPM. Duh, I already knew that. So when these go, you know, what you're going to have to potentially do is disconnect the pigtail to it and try and see if you can set this down. I've seen people try and remove this pintle altogether. Well, you could do that. But see, as of right now, the engine RPM is way too low. You can try and set it to where you can kind of get it in a happy medium. Uh, so you can at least start the car and let it idle on its own power. Yeah, you start your car. It's revving out at about 2300 RPM and the RPM is not going down. Yeah, there's a good chance that this is at fault. Or if you're driving down the highway and all of a sudden, hey, do I have the cruise control on? Yeah, there's a good chance that this component is, is at fault. Now, I'll discuss about removal. We got three 5 16 nuts right here. There are washers too, so be careful when you are removing them. You don't want to lose them because they'll fall right in there. You know, they'll sit right on the intake manifold and, you know, just be careful that you don't lose them. There's uh, one here, one there, and there's one just below the pintle, if you can uh, see it there, yeah, right there. So when you remove those guys, the IAC motor will come out. You might have to disconnect some vacuum hoses here. We got this guy for our PCV valve. Just give that a, pull that out of your way there and uh, you'll be able to lift out your IAC motor. Okay, things to remove for the uh, removal of our of our IAC motor. What you're going to want to do is just uh, unbolt your air cleaner assembly. Just you know, let it let it hang out of the way there. Now you're going to notice your pigtail that plugs into our IAC motor right here. There is also another connection over here. What you're going to want to do is unplug this and just hang it out of the way. Now you may or may not have difficulty with your third bolt underneath the pintle here. Uh, it's 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 in a tight spot mainly because of our throttle body unit. You're going to be fighting that the entire time if you're going to be trying to unbolt the uh, third nut on the bottom. But you might as well just go ahead and take off the two T25 Torx bits that holds the bracket 
for our IAC motor. And then just remove the third nut that attaches the IAC motor to our bracket. It's a lot easier. So what you're going to have to do for this is just remove our wire harness here and just hang it out of the way so you can access your second Torx nut bolt. And um, any vacuum hoses, we got a vacuum hose here, just want to be careful of that. If necessary, just unclip it and uh, away you go. That's all there is to it.